Virgos, welcome. It's your singles reading for the second half of January 2022. I set four cards here in the bottom of the deck, which is this page of cups. So, you know, that's a love offer. Uh, I feel like this is a person. Could be a water sign. Think sun, moon, rising, and Venus, you know. Uh, you know, Cancer, uh, person, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe. Um, could be, I don't know if this is so much, to me, it's just not necessarily that they're young. Uh, this is a page, is a message, is a me you got a message of love. So with a page of cups, you know, it's it's pretty uh, direct. It's like some of my said, I love you, um, implying they really want to have a relationship. Now, this is your energy, Virgo. And here, uh, you're really passionate about this. This is a passionate, explosive new beginning. Um, it does imply, you know, uh, passion. Like, and maybe with this uh, cups, if not younger, there's a very enticing love offer. I think there's a lot of attraction to this person. But now this is in your blocking position or what's crossing you position. And the reverse nine of wands to the ace of wands, man, <clears throat> that's like massive disappointment. Um. And Ace of Wands all, all about taking action. So this would be someone saying, I love you. And this would be you just lighting up and, you know, could be a relationship born from that, you know. Uh, but it, it feels like it's just deflating uh, pretty quickly here uh, with, with this reverse Nine of Wands. That's what's in the crossing. Um, it's just somebody's not putting energy into it. They're not or you're not. I think... I think maybe they're not here because the advice of spirits is the six of swords. Clearly, the advice is to move away. If this is a long distance uh, thing, it could be with this eight of wands as an outcome. Um, but either way, it's kind of remove your attention from it, uh, remove your mind from it, definitely. And, you know, with the six of swords and the advice position here, um, it could be even physically move away. And what I get out of this reading is there's another opportunity. And it, I don't think you're seeing this opportunity yet, this eight of wands. But like, okay, let's just look at it this way. This person, you know, I love you. And you you went crazy, Virgo. Okay, just be real. You went a little nuts. Okay, so now um, in the future, after you move away from that, what's going to happen here? Um, you got one ace of wands over there now you've got eight and this is very positive energy so uh, very much about going after something and here you go to clarify what it is i really want to clarify who it is so i think we could safely say we'll be looking at uh taurus energy here most most likely i mean we could have libra energy could have uh venus energy which is libra or taurus um but I think that's what you're going to get uh, is this Taurus energy moving in, guys. And, you know, Taurus energy is very good uh, for Virgo energy, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you know, uh, anything there. Um, they're like highly compatible energies here. Uh, so let me know what you think of this, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you do hit a like, it might help the algorithm push this along to other people a little bit. Help me out. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Wednesdays are always Leo and Virgo Day. David Sky Tarot. Thank you, guys.